Hello. In this video we demonstrate some of the ways you can export the MQ data from MO71. There are many reasons why you might want to do this. For example, saving the MQ object definitions, or perhaps putting the definitions into a report, or applying some post-processing by importing the data into a spreadsheet. To demonstrate this, let's bring up the definition of a queue. We can see all the attributes of the queue by selecting the various tabs. Next, we bring up the export dialog. MO71 allows you to export either to a file or to the clipboard. And for demonstration purposes, we'll export to the clipboard for now. To do this, we'll bring up the clipboard viewer. By pressing the apply button, MO71 exports the queue data to the clipboard. In this case, we are exporting in text format so we get a definition which would be suitable for including in a report. In some cases, we might want the data to be exported in MQSC format. To do this, we merely have to change the export type and re-click the Apply button. You can see that we now get an MQSC definition. This can be very useful if we need to send the MQSC definition to another user, or perhaps create the queue on a different queue manager. There are times when you only want the fields which are different from the default definition and MO71 allows you to do this just by selecting a checkbox. The next export type is comma separated values. Many applications allow you to import CSV files. For example, we could easily import this data into a spreadsheet. Another format which is useful for post-processing is XML. XML files can be read and processed by many applications and this format allows you to perform downstream processing. Of course we are not limited to exporting just a single object definition. We can, if we wish, export a whole list of objects. So let's bring up a queue list dialog and demonstrate the export dialog working against a list. Again, we can choose what format we'd like the data to be exported in. In this case, we'll leave it as simple text. Pressing the Apply button will export 73 objects to the clipboard. MO71 allows us to choose whether system and default objects are exported. By deselecting those, we can reduce the amount of objects exported. There are times when you want to export some data at regular intervals. Let's suppose we just want to monitor the usage of some queues. There are a number of ways we can do this in MO71, but let's show how we can do it using exporting. All of the dialogues in MO71 can be refreshed automatically at whatever frequency you wish. You can also ask for data to be written to a file when it is refreshed by setting fields in the export tab. This is known as auto export. Let's show the file directory. The file name can contain inserts which allow us to create a unique file name containing things like the current time and date. So now we can set a refresh time interval. This can range from just one second to hours, whatever we feel is appropriate. In this example, we'll just create a file every three seconds. You can now see that MO71 is creating a new file every three seconds, containing the queue data at that time. If we take a look at one of these files, you'll see that it contains the data we saw in the earlier export. Of course, we could have chosen to export the data in CSV or XML formats. And of course, remember that we can do this with any MQ object or object list. There is one more form of export data type that MO71 supports, and that is monitor data points. To demonstrate those, we need to set up a monitor. MO71 allows you to monitor the integer attributes of your MQ objects and either display them in a graph or in a list. So let's bring up the list of defined monitors. You can see that we just have a single monitor that I created earlier. It is a very simple monitor which just monitors the depth of Q1 every second. By clicking on the status button, MO71 will show us the current status of the monitor. 
Although the monitor is not currently running, it has previously recorded 43 values. We can display those values in a graph by pressing the Graph button. MO71 allows us to display the data in various ways in the graph, but there are times when you want to manipulate the data using another tool. So MO71 allows you to export these values to a file using export. The data points are written to a file in comma-separated fields, suitable for import. In this case, we've imported the data directly into Microsoft Excel. Now that the data is in a spreadsheet, we could manipulate the data in an infinite number of ways. We can also graph the data, and you can see that we have a graph very similar to the one we saw in MO71. The last export mechanism I want to demonstrate is MO71's ability to export all of the QManager's NQ objects. If you go to the Location dialog, you'll see there is an Export tab. As before, you can specify a file name for the export, which contains inserts to make it unique. In this case, we're putting the current date in the file name. You can then choose which of the MQ objects you would like written to the file. So let's bring up Explorer so we can look at the export directory. Pressing the Export Now button will cause our file to be written. As expected, we can see that the file name contains the current date. If we now look at the contents of the file, we'll see that we have our set of MQSC definitions. The file can now be used to recreate your QManager objects. This can be useful if you are recreating after a disaster, or perhaps trying to make a cloned QManager just like this one. You can choose, via these checkboxes, whether default objects and system definitions are included in the file. Of course, what you really want is for MO71 to automatically take backups of the object definitions at certain intervals. We can do this by selecting Auto Export and entering a time frequency. Here we are saying that every Monday at 9am, MO71 should take a new backup of this QManager's object definitions. MO71 now shows us the next scheduled backup time. Of course, at any time we can press the Export Now button to get a fresh set of object definitions. This concludes our brief tour of exporting from MO71. You can see how there are many places where MO71 allows you to access MQ data in a form which is easy to process. Thank you for watching.